Hi, Sizrin here with another video, and in this video, we're going to be covering how to use Kirak and talk a little bit about the new mods on him. So, whenever you have Kirak missions, you have white ones, yellow ones, and you have red ones. And you can see here in the middle behind my chair that there are different mods on these. And another example, let's say that you have 316 white missions. You can use those to reset your reds and yellows. And what you're looking for is, well, things like Cortex. You're also looking for complete with a full stack of divination cards, which I don't have right now. And you don't actually need to finish the map that you're opening. You just need to open a map. So you also have scouting reports. See, once you've already opened them, you actually don't need to re-click here. But uh, I, I, I look through all of them because they all reset at the same time. And once you've opened a map, it also resets the store. The scouting reports do not reset the store, but uh, opening a map does. So I'm checking for a stack of divination cards, and then I'm thinking, hmm, Canyon, does that have any good cards? It has the Cosprey's divination card. There has been a large, large rework of divination cards, so it's it's a little hard. I kind of want to make, make a big spreadsheet. Like, for example, Promenade, Ashen Woods, for example, have really good divination cards. Um, and they are really, really good ones. And obviously things like Dungeon have six link divination cards, Palace, etc. So there's nothing I really want in Laboratory. So I am going to do the Putrid Cloister. And obviously, a thing that's pretty important is that your Atlas passives, they don't affect Kirak, right? Early on in League, we had people going like, Oh, I have the Ritual points and I'm not getting four Rituals. Well, that was just people doing Kirak missions with Ritual. So that is a little bit sad. I do think that they should work. Here we have a Val Pyramid with um, Stack of Divination cards. So there are like really, really good things you could get. Um, every time you do a map as well, you want to check the store that they're selling. There are some maps that are just really good with, you know, 10 strong boxes and stuff like that for cheap. Which is good, especially if you have all the strong box nodes. And um, the Stack of Divination card is the best. So obviously, there it is like the wiki has like some of them, but there were so many div card changes. So I would recommend somebody making a spreadsheet of div cards. I guess I kind of have to make a spreadsheet because there's not really a great list anywhere of where good div cards are. So that's kind of needed right now. So I guess we should make that at some point. But uh, yeah, like Ashenwood, Promenade, Alleyways? Is Alleyways still on the map? Like, anything with Exalted cards is pretty good. Obviously, all the maps that drop, like, Doctor and stuff like that. So, Burial Chamber is a very exciting one to get because you could get a full stack of the Doctor cards, and people have gotten that. Now, obviously, that is rare, but, you know, luck is just setting yourself up for success or being a streamer called Steelmage. So, that is, like, the main thing. Like, I'm basically... Spamming all my missions looking for Cortex or the Sakative card. And I'm pretty much never finishing the map. I will literally just go in, do the um, do the mission of like get a div card. You don't actually need to finish the mission. It's just, you know, I want to see what the div card is. And, uh, and then I leave. Because all the reset and everything, that happens as soon as you open the map. Not as soon as you finish the mission. So that's pretty good to know. And yeah, there, there's just a lot of good outcomes. All the ones that like desert layouts and stuff like that, desert, uh, dune, stuff like that, have like the Imperial Legacy div card. And that's actually pretty good to have, just uh, not necessarily to hand in for a divine, but it's nice to have for the harvest option, which is sacrifice a full set of divination cards. The Bex card is pretty good and the Vault Temple card is pretty good for that as well. So those are some really, really good options. So I can't remember anything about Pyramid. We're going to roll over that. Stack of Divination Guard and Orchard. That's the six thing bow card. We don't need that. And I want to check my yellow ones as well. It is nice to have some yellow missions. Complete the Harvest. That's one of the main things that I go for. Um, so now I'm going to go for Harvest. Obviously make sure it's not super rippy. I'm really, really hoping for tier 4 beasts. Never getting them, but that's what I'm hoping for. And uh, Cortex. Arid Lake with Stack of Divination Cards and another map. Grave Troll. Grave Troll has um, the 5x div card as well, so it's worth doing. But yeah, I just wanted to make a quick video for you guys about Kirak and uh, what he does. So, hope this helps. Thanks for watching. Sub if you liked the video, but more importantly, 
Try to die? Less than I do. <laughs>